Sarah. Sarah. But don't flirt with my sister. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing Avers and a super rat, and welcome to the Modern Ninja. Today is another episode of Fight Like a Superhero, the series where I break down the fighting styles of all kinds of characters all across fiction and tell you how you can train like them. I've done all kinds of characters in the past like Batman, Genji, and the Mandalorian. And I've even done some MCU characters like Hawkeye and Black Widow. But with the season finale of Falcon and the Winter Soldier coming today, or maybe yesterday depending on when this video gets posted, there is no better time for me to add another MCU character to the list. This time focusing on the best friend of both Captain Americas, Bucky Barnes, aka the Winter Soldier. We won't be counting John Walker in this, in case you were wondering. And don't worry, I'm not trying to spoil anything for you guys. So if you haven't seen the last episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier yet, none of that will be in this video. I've written and, you know, edited this video before I even saw the last episode. So you're good. Now let's break down that fighting style. While I have your attention, don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it. And if you want to see more of my content, subscribe. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later if you don't like the channel. You'll definitely like it. Starting off with what we see him use the most often, his stand-up fighting relies mostly on boxing, or at least very heavily on boxing. And of course, this makes a lot of sense. If you had a almost indestructible arm, why would you waste your time kicking? Put him up, put him up! Taking a more boxing approach allows Bucky to not only utilize his strong left arm for attacks, but also be able to block and use it for defense. Because again, if you have a super strong robotic arm, why wouldn't you use it? Oh yeah, that's why. Now he obviously does all kinds of punches, but Bucky seems to favor wide swing punches over straight jabs. And it's my guess that this is because of his arm again. Knuckles on a person's hand form a strong surface that can break bones fairly easily. And a normal person's arm wouldn't be able to work quite as well. However, that's not the case for Bucky. Meaning he can deal considerable bone breaking damage with his entire arm. So using the large surface area of your entire arm as opposed to your little fist to crush skulls and, and destroy bodies kind of makes sense to me. His fight combinations also follow a pattern that is based on the fact that he has a metal arm. With his right hand being used to set up more powerful attacks from his left as well as changing levels throughout the fight to look for the opportunity to use that metal sledgehammer he calls an arm. But being quite honest with you, due to that super soldier serum, he still has the ability to deliver powerful right-handed attacks as well, being able to push people's heads through furniture and walls basically with ease. While we're talking about the super soldier serum, um, how is Bucky's torso and legs so strong? He can just jump up and catch Falcon mid-air. And I get it, he's a super soldier and he has a metal arm. I get all that, but hear me out. His legs didn't even budge. Like, he's not that heavy, right? He shouldn't just be able to hold Falcon, the flying dude, down with one arm, right? Like, that doesn't logically make any sense. Oh, man, I, I want that serum. I want that serum so bad, but... My rants aside, back to his combos, his blocks in these combos obviously relies heavily on his left arm because it's indestructible. Well, mostly indestructible. But with both, he's able to block gunfire with his arm either by blocking it or just straight up ping, 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 blocking it with his hand. Now he is obviously an expert at firearms and knives, but I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about the firearms on this video. However, his knife skills are top tier. Honestly, one of the best knife users in the MCU. He was able to toss, transfer a knife while he was in the middle of a fight with Captain freaking America. That is America's ass. 
The way he uses his knife makes me think that he has a lot of knife training in the styles of Arnis and Krav Maga. And you can also see the Krav Maga actually come out in the use of his kicks during the fights. He may not throw many, but they're there. And they serve the purpose to show uh, that he definitely does some Krav Maga in there somewhere. Like that's somewhere in his repertoire. Now he does most often use his knife in his right hand, leading me to believe that although his left hand is super strong, it lacks the dexterity that his right hand still has. Speaking of dexterity, his grapple skills are also incredibly impressive, able to outdo martial artists like Black Widow and Captain America. It's even theorized that he trained Black Widow in the Red Room. Did you at least recognize me? I mean, he did in the comics. But it's even more impressive that he was able to keep up with Black Panther in the grappling category. At least enough to, you know, not get his throat shredded, which, I mean, in this case is a win. You don't mess with Black Panther. And again, I see this as a good example of his Krav Maga coming through and maybe some jujitsu as well. Now, of course, Bucky's style changed a little bit throughout his character development. Him, you know, as a soldier in World War II doesn't fight the same way as him as the Winter Soldier. And him as the Winter Soldier, which is what we're mostly talking about here, doesn't fight exactly the same way as him as White Wolf. With the Winter Soldier being much more brutal and ruthless compared to the White Wolf's fighting style. But if you are looking to train like the Winter Soldier, my suggestion is to mix together boxing, Krav Maga, Arnis, and Jiu Jitsu and focusing on knife fighting when you're in Arnis and in Krav Maga. And of course, you know, strap yourself with a metal arm and drink a Capri Sun filled with that super soldier juice. Oh yeah! But guys, thanks for watching this video. Again, if you liked it, let me know what you liked. And if you want me to do a different character in the future, tell me in the comments below or join my Discord and tell me directly. I uh, really love getting the input from you guys on Discord, so let me know what you think. And until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.